Hi, it's Richard here from Intelligent Advisor IT Consulting with the first in a new series of videos. This one is talking about containment relationships in Oracle policy modeling and giving you the basics of what they do, how they work and what they really mean. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project to demonstrate this. The concept of containment relationships is nothing specific to Oracle policy modeling or Intelligent Advisor. It's something that you'll discover if you go and investigate other modeling tools and indeed other modeling languages typically talk about it. In my new project, as you can see, as always, I have this concept known as global, and I'm going to create an attribute called the family name. As you probably know, this means that there will be one family name per execution of this interview or this project. That's what global means, is anything that belongs to global, there will only be one instance of it throughout the interview. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new entity called the family member. As soon as I do that, you can see that there's a kind of hierarchy that's being created here is that the family member is a child of global. I'm going to go ahead and create a second attribute for the family member, the family member's age, just to enrich it a little bit. And both those attributes belong to the family member. And you'll also see that I have automatically generated what we call a containment relationship. Notice the way it's built. It says the relationship is all instances of the family member, which in normal English we probably just call the family members. And we have a from and to. We have, if you like, a parent and a child. We have a source and a target. Global can contain many family members. That's what this means. The family members are contained within global. If I go ahead and create another level, and we'll call this the favorite color, for example, we once again generate a, a containment relationship so that the favorite colors are contained by the family member. So a family member can currently have multiple favorite colors. So again, there's this systematic notion of parent and child. By default, it's always one to many in Oracle policy modeling. I'm just going to go ahead and change the text so it's a bit more friendly. But you'll notice here in my containment relationship that I cannot change the structure. I cannot change the parent and the child. That's, that's inherent. But what I can do is I can specify that actually it's not one family member has many colors. One family member in my case only has one favorite color. And this will be imposed throughout my interview thanks to that setting on the containment relationship. Let's put it into practice by starting the debugger and seeing how this concept of containment works in real time. I'm going to add uh, the family name, which you'll recall is a global attribute, so there will only be one family name. Just a tip if you're in the debugger and you're investigating relationships and entities, you, I suggest you switch to the data tab like I have just done. Let's take a look at the family members. There's nobody here until I create an instance. As soon as I create an instance, I have a family member number one, I have the attributes of the family member, and I can see the next level underneath, which is the favorite color. So let's go ahead and create this family member. So what we're saying is currently, Richard is contained in global. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a favorite color for Richard by clicking the Add Instance button over here. And let's expand and say that Richard's favorite color is red. Now you'll recall that the containment relationship between Richard and color, between the family member and color, was one to one. So I get an error if I try and add a second color. So the structure of the containment relationship is applied everywhere. But I can also go back to the previous level and create a new family member and begin to create a whole new branch of my hierarchy. So my second family member is allowed to have a favorite color as well, of course. So let's say that Anna's favorite color is green. So color is contained by a family member, is contained by global. Global is the parent, Richard is the child, and color is the, uh, red is the child of Richard. So there's this notion of hierarchy. You'll see here on the right hand side, this little checkbox that says containment complete. Don't worry about that for now. We'll see that in a separate chapter, but it's worthwhile mentioning because the concept of containment is used in several different places in both rules and in logic in Oracle Intelligent Advisor. I'm going to go ahead and now let's try this. I'm going to delete one of my family members and immediately I lose the whole branch. 
which is kind of logical in a sense. It's what we might have called in another world, another language, we call it cascade delete. If you delete the parent, the child disappears as well. So Richard's color disappeared as soon as I removed Richard. I can still work with Anna and I can change Anna's favorite color and I can still see the attribute at the top. But that's a five minute guided tour of how containment rule, uh, relationships dictate the structure of your projects. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.